do you want to put me back into normal mode so I don't just fly off like this or something by accident? <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Oh, ow! <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> Sorry. So, hello and welcome to the Yorks cast. Check it out. Look, and Bongo has got this new stuff uh, which is being added in the new patch. So, this here is an enchanting table. Um. Basically, I think the way this works, right, is uh, you need to get like a something like a sword, okay, and you need to try and enchant it, and it will give it special abilities. So it sort of shows how many... I don't actually understand this at all, but I think it shows roughly how many levels it requires to be enchanted. Um, so if you put like a diamond sword in there, I think, I think, I think a diamond sword needed like four levels to be enchanted. Um... So these numbers actually mean something. And these are the levels that you gain with experience orbs. Yeah, yeah. So you have to gain levels, and then you spend the levels that you gain with experience orbs. Enchanting stuff. So there may be, there's like three different levels. So the first one... Although it seems, the numbers seem to change every time I put the sword in. So I'm not entirely sure why that is. Um, maybe it's, it's just... trying to give you different effects each time that have different costs? Maybe. maybe. I don't know. I have no I idea. I don't know! It's not in yet, but this is cool. And the graphic is pretty awesome because the book sort of follows you. Uh, or it follows the nearest person who's looking at it. Um, the second thing... It is thing, a nice looking book. Yeah, it is, isn't it? The second thing is this cauldron here. It's called a cauldron, but it actually doesn't seem to be anything. You can't click on it. And I, I assume it's going to be something where you can cook lots of food much like um, before, but it might be something important to do with this alchemy thing, which is the third thing. And well, this is making potions, okay? So, if you look at it, it's a bit of a weird icon, but it's actually quite simple. Basically, you put things in the top, and they go into these bottles. So you need to actually make bottles full of water to start with. So you can get some... Um, I should have some empty bottles in my inventory somewhere. Oh yeah, here we are. I've got some empty bottles. You can just fill them up with water, um, and you get, I'm well, in creative mode, so it's causing them to go in a funny place in my inventory. But you get water bottles, and then you can make potions. So we've got, already, Mbongo has made a potion of healing, a potion of fire resistance, a potion of weakness. Oh! I think a weakness one is bad. Look after us, Night Peculiar. And a potion of swiftness. Um, he's fighting off creepers. Oh, my goodness. Monsters Blimey. are so much harder in this patch. Zombies and skeletons nails. take an extra hit to kill, basically, with, with diamond swords. Endermen now do five hearts worth of damage, which is just so much. What? I know, they just kill you so quickly. Um, hang on. So, oh. um, so I don't actually know any of these recipes for making potions. Um, but I assume you can just pop in things like a nether wart. And what that will do is that will slowly boil into these bottles and make them into sort of a potion and then you add more ingredients according to how good you want it. Now I think... It's like cooking your dinner in a slow cooker isn't it basically? Yeah. Once you've made your potion which tends to be using certain ingredients like spider eyes and fermented spider eyes and blaze powder and magma cream stuff like this. Once you've made your initial potion you can then use glowstone dust or redstone um, to actually increase the e efficacy of the potion. So I think you can either use glowstone dust to make it last longer, or uh, the other one to make it a slightly stronger effect. Uh, I think that's the way it works. You could use one or the other once you've made your potion. But these are quite good, aren't they? I, I like them, and I like the mechanics. It does make the game sort of feel like a proper RPG. With like crafting and enchanting, and I'd love to see what they do with the enchanting. Whether you get sort of random stats on it or random abilities on it or something like that. Ah, right. Okay, so let's try out some of the potions. So we've we've made. Oh. And Bongo has made some potions of strength here. Take one of these. What have you got in that one that Night Peculiar's made, Simon? Potion of poison. Oh. What, what on earth could it do? <laughs> well done, Night Peculiar. Let's see. It's not his. How calling, do I drink it? it? Do I just just gulp it down. Oh look, it's got a really blood, nice blood, effect blood, blood, blood. on it, hasn't it? Look at Ooh. this. And then it um it punishes you. Oh, quite badly actually. Oh my goodness, it's quite bad. Hang on, I need a potion of healing. Uh, nom 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 nom. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna quickly try and drink this potion of healing. Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Um. Oh no, I survived on half a heart. <laughs> 
but fortunately, that's because I think wow. I'm all, I was full on the old food meter. There you go. So, you've got golden apple there. Oh, my oh God. I've got one of those as well. I'd forgotten. It's on that. I think poison effects always take you down to like half a heart anyway. Ah, uh, So even probably. if you just keep healing yourself, it doesn't do anything because it'll always take you down to that half a heart. There are new UI elements. Look, when you've eaten a golden apple, you see you get this regeneration timer on you, which is like a potion effect. Mm. Um, so that's a potion effect. Oh my effect god, the poison. You know how poison works? Poisonous head crabs in Half Life. It's the same effect. It always takes you down to that, you know, nothing of health. Ah. That's quite a good way of doing it. So, what does the potion of strength do? Let's have a look. Um, I have strength. I think it means I can hit stuff harder. Let's see. Animals are a little bit on the tougher side now. Um, but let's go and slay my, my piggules. Oh, my um, oh, what are you doing? What? I'm killing them so you're, all. You're proving your strength by killing some poor pigs. Poor defenses. That's what they're tamed. here for. They're here for my, my experience. I need to get the experience. They're here for your pleasure and amusement. They don't give a lot, do they? Um, hup, hup. Oh my there god. Go. I'm getting a little bit of experience in. So what else have we got? What other potions have we got? Um, there was a fire resistance one. I've got no idea what that must do. Um, Can you get a flint and steel? Possibly or some lava. And see how much damage it does if I... Oh, there we are. Some fire here. Okay. Oh. Are we going to drink these? Okay. Am I the control? I'm the control subject. <laughs> oh, look, I'm Bongo. Ah! He can, just, he can just walk in it. And so can I. Oh, my God. Without He's taking a fire damage. walker. Oh. No, I'm on fire. I you am are on fire. on fire. I, can, I, can I think see he might have a better yeah, one than I have. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't seem to be taking... <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I'm okay. Wow. I didn't take any damage. I just did catch on fire, though. Uh, you're right there, Bongo. He looks kind of warm. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> It'd keep on the Bongo not swarm. Lovely. Uh, what else have we got? A potion of swiftness. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, so I think this is permanent sprint mode uh, for a potion of swiftness. So I can leg wow. it around. Woohoo! That's pretty cool. That's pretty damn yeah. awesome. And What's the point in that though, when you can just double hit W and not have it take up space in your inventory? Well, because you run out of food very quickly when you sprint around, remember? You can carry a stack of food or a potion that has the same effect as just double tapping W. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. Mm. So there you go, man. They're good, aren't they? There's other there's other potions in the game, which I'm not quite sure how to make, but there's a selection for you. It's pretty damn other good, isn't it? Other potions are available. There's an awkward potion. What does that do? Oh, nothing. I think there's there's some potions that don't do anything and you have to keep adding ingredients. So you get things like feeble potion, useless potion, until you keep adding enough stuff to make it into something that glows, you see. Um, these guys are hard at work, aren't they, making weird stuff. Okay, I gave you a speed two. A, a potion of speed, speed two. Speed two? Oh, God, that was a terrible movie. <laughs> God. <laughs> Cruise control. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's this do this. Be a little race. Out of the way, sheep. Please remove the sheep from the testing area. <laughs> <laughs> Here okay. we go. Okay. Nom 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 nom. Oh my goodness! So Night Peculiar is just running at normal speed, and you're double swift. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's fast, isn't it? Oh, it's pretty quick. Oh. See, these potions could have good fun in adventure maps, couldn't they? They could make you sort of do crazy stuff. It's the only way to cross like really long jumps. Oh! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh well. <laughs>